What is going on guys? Chris here or Mighty Furtado and today I'm bringing you guys another build and today we're going to be taking a look at Arthas, the Lich King. And uh, before we actually go over his uh, traits, we are going to take a look at his skills. So Death Coil costs this 55 mana, the cooldown is 9 seconds, deals 360 damage to a target enemy and can be self cast to heal for 522 HP. Now this is at max rank so level 20. Uh, at level 1 obviously it is a little bit lower. Howling Blast, the mana is 75, the area effect, it does have an area effect on it and the cooldown is 12 seconds. Root enemies within the target area for 1.5 seconds and deals 150 damage. Now the next one is Frozen Tempest, it does cost 10 mana per second and it is an AoE. Deals 80 damage per second to nearby enemies, slows enemy movement speed by 6% per second and then stacking up to a total of 30 seconds. Now his trait is Frostmourne Hungers. Uh, the cooldown is 12 seconds. Activate to make your next basic attack strike immediately doing 100% attack da increased damage and restoring 30 mana. So let's go on to his traits. His first trait that you do want to get is Frozen Waste. Frozen Tempest size is increased. The Frozen Tempest radius is increased by 33%. So as you can see the little circle, that's what it is. And once we grab that, it increases by that much. It may not seem but, uh, like a lot, but in, it, in reality, it will help a lot. Uh, the next ability that you do want to get is Invenom. Uh, with this build for Arthas, you kind of want to go as a bruiser. You don't want to go full tank because full tank is like Stitches, uh, Anubarak, and um, God knows what other full tanks there are. Uh, so we are going to grab Invenom. Obviously, you guys do know what Invenom is. Uh, the next one we do want to get is Ruin Tap, so consecutive basic attacks heal you. Every third of basic attacks heals you for 4% of your maximum health. Uh, the next one you do want to get, now this is uh, situational, it really depends what you want. Since you are going that Bruiser type, and um, it also really depends because if you don't have two healers on your team, if you don't have an Uther, or you don't have a Malfurion, or a Lili, or Brightwing, uh, let's say you have one of them, only one healer, and that healer's basically focus on healing the assassins you want to take army of the dead basically it raises ghouls to fight for you and they can be sacrificed to heal you for 750 hp uh, if you do have two healers then you want to go for summon sin dragosa uh, basically what this does is deal 450 damage it slows enemy heroes and freezes minions for 10 seconds and structures for 20 seconds uh, it really depends uh, like I said, if you have, let's say you have an Uther and you have a Malfurion on your team, then I'd go for summon Syndragosa. If you only have one healer, I go for Army of the Dead because if you do have two healers, you can have the one healer focusing on the Assassin and the rest of your teammates, and then you can have the other uh, healer focusing on you. So since this is a bot game, I will show you uh, summon Syndragosa. Uh, the next one that we do want to get is Trail of Frost. Howling Blast affects enemies within a traveling path. So Howling Blast attacks enemies enemies while traveling. Uh, the next one we do want to get is Frostmourn Feeds. Frostmourn Hungers apply to two basic attacks. So basically you can use D two times. And the next one that you do want to get obviously would either be the... Actually, sorry. The, first, the only one that you do want to choose is Resurgence of the Storm. Basically, you can res upon, uh, resurrect upon death. So when you die, uh, your resurrection reduces to 5 seconds. And this can occur uh, every 2 minutes. This is a really broken trait that you can't choose. And until they nerf it, I would go with this one. Uh, I'll go over what Absolute Zero is. Basically, Syndro uh, Syndragosa flies farther and targets are slowed after being rooted. Uh, you know, it really doesn't matter because you, if you have a team with a lot of slows, uh, then there's really no point getting this upgrade. So you do want to get Resurgence of the Storm. So uh, let's take a look at his abilities. What we'll do is we'll summon him. We'll summon the minions and we'll go Arthas versus Arthas. So first we'll use Death Coil. As you can see, we'll do damage to him. Dealing 180 damage. It's not that much damage. Uh, but we'll actually do it on myself in a little bit. Oh, you actually have to pop our E. So yeah, as you can see, that's his E. And basically, this is mine. Uh, we're going to heal myself for 522, which is actually really OP. I'm going to use that. There we go. We'll stun him. So, we, so once we got that upgrade, the Trail of Frost, 
And, uh, so while they're moving, it actually can't stun them now, which is actually really good. So we'll do it again. There we go. And then we'll use our D to get our mana back. So yeah, two, two auto attacks basically gave us, uh, 60 mana back, which may not seem like a lot, but when you're using, uh, Frozen Tempest, uh, it will bring it up pretty quickly. So once we get into another team fight, I'll summon, uh, Sindragosa, and then we'll, uh, we'll do this shit. Oh, I missed my stun, I'm pretty bad. I'll we'll actually have to pop in Venom too. You know what, let's summon Sindragosa. Oh, beautiful. And then we'll freeze him, dead. So as you can see, the structures are frozen for about 20 seconds, so it gives you your team and you enough time to actually take down, uh, Probably a full barricade here, and then the two towers, and you can probably get a keep or something. It really depends where you aim it at. They can't attack at all, so... Well, now they can, because I just ran right into it. I right, see two auto attacks. My mana just went up by a little bit, which is actually really good. And it is a uh, 10 second cooldown. 12 seconds, sorry. So, uh, it doesn't take that long for it to come up. So we'll do it once we get to... I get to 500, and you'll see how quickly up my mana goes. Okay, let's let's stun him. Nope. So 450, and then 490. So went up pretty quick. And then we also have the ability that basically every third auto attack does increase uh, our uh, HP as well. It doesn't increase it. Sorry, it gives it back. So. Uh, uh, I'm not too sure if we do have life steal. We don't have the life steal, but you get my point. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that Arthas build. Uh, this is a bruiser type uh, build. Uh, there are plenty of other ways to build them, but this is the build that I go for, and uh, in my opinion, it is really one of the best builds. So, if you're running Arthas with the Stitches, uh, a Vala, a Malfurion, and probably another Assassin or Specialist, uh, I think it's a really good build. We'll actually summon the dragon again, just to get him frozen. Uh, are we going to fail here? Are we going to fail? Can we get him? We're going to get him, of course. Our is a lot bigger than his. So yeah, if you're uh, if you're running this with another tank, let's, for example, Stitches, uh, you got a, an assassin, a healer, and a specialist, then you're running one of the best builds for Arthas in the game. But if you want to go full tank, uh, that's something I wouldn't recommend because I think Arthas is a little bit better as a bruiser. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Take it easy.